Here we're going to do an example where you're going to find the formula and the domain for the composition of the two given functions. So the composition we're going to do is f of g. So the first thing that you need to do is we need to find the domain of each individual. So we're going to look at the domain for f. And in this case, the domain for f is going to follow the rational rule, which says you cannot have a zero in the denominator. So here we're going to have that x minus 1 can't be 0, so x can't be 1. And what this means is that it has a domain where we're going to say negative infinity to 1, union 1 to positive infinity. We then have to find the domain of g. And this is going to follow the same rule because it is also a rational. So here this is going to be that 3x minus 2 cannot be 0. So x cannot be 2 thirds. That makes its domain negative infinity to 2 thirds, union 2 thirds to positive infinity. Okay. Now that we know the two domains, we can work on finding the um, composition. So we're going to look at f of g. Okay. And what that essentially says is that, by definition, we are looking for f of g of x. Okay. So here, we're going to make f the outermost function. And so when we do that, um, anywhere that there's a variable, I like to input a placeholder. Um, because that helps me keep track of what's going on. Well, in this case, my f is the outermost function and my g is the one that goes inside. So here, um, what's going to happen is that this is going to be 5 over, and it's going to be 4 over the 3x minus 2, and this whole thing is minus 1. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I keep in mind that this right there was um, my g. Okay. And now I have to make it look nice. So this kind of looks awkward. So we want to go ahead and rearrange using our fraction rules to make this look a little more decent. First on the bottom, it means we need to have a common denominator. So we're going to have a 5 on the top. And then on the bottom, we're going to have 4 um, minus it's the 3x minus 2. The whole thing is over the 3x minus 2. We're going to go ahead and simplify that. And so in this case, we're going to end up with 5 over. We're going to have the negative is going to be distributed into both. So my 2 right here becomes positive. So 4 plus 2 is 6 and then minus my 3x, and that whole thing is over the 3x minus 2. We need to use our rules, which then say we're going to keep the top, change the sign to multiplication, and flip the reciprocal of the bottom. So this becomes 3x minus 2 over 6 minus 3x. And the very last thing that we're going to do is put it all together. Okay, so this becomes 5 times my 3x minus 2, and the whole thing is over 6 minus 3x. So in this case, I have a new function here, and so I want to go ahead and find the domain for my function f of g. This is going to follow the normal fraction rule, so this is going to say that the 6 minus 3x cannot be 0. So in this case, we have that x cannot be 2. So my domain is going to go from negative infinity to 2, union 2 to positive infinity. Now that's not where it ends, okay? Because if you remember from the beginning, um, this piece right here is g. So what you have to pay attention to is that since this is the function g of x, that means it has 
the domain of g. Since my overall function incorporates the domain of g, then my overall domain has to incorporate it too. So that what that means is that my domain, my overall domain, has to incorporate, so this is going to include the domain of G and the domain F of G. Okay. So that being the case, what we know is we know that the domain of G um, says that x cannot be two-thirds and we know f of g says that x cannot be two. So therefore the overall domain is going to say from negative infinity to two-thirds union from two-thirds to two union from two to positive infinity. And that is the overall domain of your composition. So when you're working this, you have to be very careful that you are paying attention to what makes up your composition and where your domains of the individual pieces fall in. Okay. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, there is a snapshot example on how to find the domain of the composition of two functions. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.